Hello, this is Mike, NoStressMike.com. I want to talk some on morals. You hear me talk about morals all the time and um, personal responsibility, and that's because uh, they go hand in hand. Uh, you can't have morals unless you take personal responsibility, and what makes uh, personal responsibility, what makes you uh, stay close to your personal responsibility? When, in other words, you give your word to somebody, you follow up on that. The, the reason you do that is because of your morals. Uh, it's not a law that says you have to do this. It doesn't even mean what religion you have. Uh, the morals has nothing to do with any of this stuff. It's just a sense of, of right and wrong that you, you have put upon yourself. Uh, because we're in a world where, you know, right and wrong is all screwed up. And we can either go along with them, like a lot of people do. They just go along with whatever kind of crazy crap comes up. Or... You stand strong, and you stand with your morals, and this is what I talked about, morals change, and because we're working on ideals when we're younger, we're taught, we're, we're, they're trying to teach you morals, they don't call it morals when they're teaching you, but they're teaching you uh, manners, and you know, they're teaching you to do the right thing, don't lie, and all these things, these are all what makes up morals. Now, uh, and the thing is, when they're doing all this, they're teaching you shame. And this shame is what m helps us um, stay in check with our morals. And I mentioned in my Vietnam crappy, uh, crappy Vietnam War stories, uh, where I had my morals, and then when I went to war, man, my morals couldn't hold the test. Uh, so I had to change my morals. And so that's when I realized, wait, hey, this, this stuff is a lot easier said than done. And, uh, but like I say, through time, you learn what is factual. And a lot of people avoid uh, putting their morals to the test. Uh, that's why I say they all stay home. Like, like, like most people, you all don't go anywhere. You don't do anything. You just go to to work, and then you come back home. You don't get involved in anything. You're not really, not really socializing and all this stuff. You're not really putting your morals to the test, and uh, they're comfortable like that. And most people are. They don't want to test their morals. Uh, they they run on a minimum of morals, and they just they want to. They don't want to put any effort in their life. Me. I'm, put a lot of testing to my morals and that's why I not, uh, these morals are not only morals that I have to do for others these morals are for me I mean when I tell myself hey I, I can't do this anymore I gotta stop I, I, that helps me take control of myself personal responsibility now uh, I'm real uh, Okay, I know my morals and my moral strength. And I, when I had my wife and my children were younger, uh, I held all of them, plus myself, to high moral standards. And uh, the reason was, I expected my kids not to lie. I expected them to do the right thing. Okay, now what happens? Uh, they get into a fight at school. I know my kids have good morals and they're not going to just go pick a fight with somebody. They're not bullies. And I know they're supposed to defend themselves. And they did. And then now the teacher calls and says, well, you know, kids got in a fight. I come down to school because I am going to stand behind my kid. Providing my kid did what was morally right. Now, as a kid, a child, sometimes they would think they were doing right, and it was wrong. I don't get mad. I just correct them, strengthening their morals. Now, when it comes to fighting, my kids never did. Uh, when they got in fights, they, it was deserving, and they did right. They stood on their own. and uh, But I, I went through all the facts before I made judgment. Now, remember. 
when they stand strong on good, firm morals, I will stand with them. Now, my morals are even stronger. And again, remember, I'm older, I'm wiser, I'm a whole lot meaner. And so, my, I know I have to stand behind them. And, but only if they are doing the morally proper thing. And that's what they were taught. Now, as they get older, then people change. Sometimes their morals get stronger, sometimes their morals get weaker, sometimes they don't give a damn about morals. You know, so, but I do put my uh, family on higher standards. And my friends, my real friends, you know, I don't see, a lot of these people, I've only seen once, and they're still a real friend. And, um, if I know that these are good, morally strong people, I will be there for them, no matter what. I don't care if I just met them once, or I've known them for a long time, I only see them once every few years. It doesn't make any difference, because I put them on higher standards than I do other folk also, especially strangers. I mean, strangers, you know... Oh, uh, what kind of moral standards are they on? Who knows? <laughs> you know, and, but like I say, as I be around and I'm around these people, I get to know them more. I can see they really have moral strength inside. They're good people on their own. They don't need no regulations or nothing, none of this kind of crap. They really are good people. Now, they're put on my friend list. And remember, uh, just because you have good morals doesn't mean that everything, life is going to be rosy red. It gets tough. And especially when you try to stand behind your morals. And so, like I say, when they do try to stand behind their morals and they need help, I will be there to help them. This is, this is why I put them to higher standards. Now, if they can't stay to those higher standards, then they're probably going to get themselves in trouble. In other words, okay, you're my friend, and we're, we're going good, and you turn out to uh, uh, taking start taking drugs or, or drinking. You've been drinking, now you're drinking more. You're, you're doing stupid things. Now, what you expect me to stand behind you when you're acting stupid? You're doing stupid, and you're doing immoral acts. There's no way I want to stand behind you. And uh, so that's why my friends are on a higher standard of morals. And uh, you notice I'm, I'm, a lot of people think, man, I'm cold-hearted. My, my wife used to think, man, you, you, know, you don't have no, no sympathy, no uh, em empathy. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm hard. And uh, I can see how somebody could see that. But the way I see it, if you're immoral, uh, or you don't take personal responsibility, more than likely you're going to do stupid. And what do you want me to do? One thing I do not do, and that is I don't tell people what to do. Uh, I like to watch and see what they're going to do, uh, and I share what I do. And some of the things I do is good, and some of the things I do aren't all that good, and I pay the price. That's how I strengthen my morals, and that's how my uh, personal responsibility gets strong. So, but if somebody chooses not to take personal responsibility, so they do stupid things, they don't think right, uh, you, know, you know, as long as they don't hurt anybody else, I just smile because I know they've learned. <laughs> they've learned more about taking personal responsibility and the moral responsibility that they have not only to themselves but to other people. Okay, talking about uh, moral responsibility for me to my, my, fa my um, family. My family uh, now this is America so things have changed but uh, in the Chinese culture we take care of each other all the time. Now, for me to do stupid things, and I'm always needing care from my family, 
that's not a good thing. I lose face in, in the Chinese uh, culture. And, uh, but, so that um, moral responsibility is to take care of myself, uh, to make sure I've got money, uh, so I'm not, you know, begging from the family. Uh, you know, and I've made, made mistakes before. I've had to go and borrow money from the family. I mean, there's still things you got to do, but you learn from these things. It's not like you're doing anything wrong. You're just learning. Now, if you're continually doing stupid, that is immoral. You're not taking the moral responsibility over yourself. And you are not um, taking, uh, or, and you are pushing your problems on other people. And these are good people. They have morals. Why would they, what gives them the, the moral responsibility to accept your bad behavior, your bad choices? There's nothing there. That's why, you know, if my kid was to make bad choices and they do something, they go to jail, hey, you're going to jail. You did something wrong. And for my kids, or my friends and family, and, and uh, it's going to have to be really immoral things for you to go for something like that. I don't, I don't think I have them. I've had some stupid friends <laughs> that, that have done stuff, but uh, it wasn't in the way of violence or hurting people other than financial. I've had them do financial things where they put money ahead of their morals, and they've done stupid things with uh, using money as a basis to justify their their immoral acts in which they ended up breaking the law. So, uh, but like I say, people make mistakes. People learn from those mistakes. Those are moral, moral mistakes and personal responsibility. But that's part of life. I love it. This is Mike. No stress, Mike. <laughs> Duck on.